Guys, this is Rollout Down here with an exciting new little thing that I'm gonna try out Wi-Fi battles. Now, this will be my first battle against a YouTube channel named Bug Plays Pokemon. I suggest that you guys go check them out and see what kind of content they have. They're pretty cool. Uh, I'll leave the description down below or their link in the description down below. But for now, let's get this battle started and see how. Bad I am at commentating. Do, 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 do. So I'm gonna lead out with Carbink, the Great Heart. And he leads out with Dynasty, but quickly switches it out because seeing the tight dip tight different energy and stuff. But I'm gonna sit up here with the next couple of moves with Reflect and Light Stream to keep myself afloat. But he will try to take me down with Ice Beam to, to try to really annihilate me. But the Grey Heart is really freaking bulky. So he lives on for quite some time actually. And then he does try to use Dark Pose, which I don't really get because, you know, Carbinx is also part fairy type. Not very effective against fairies and all that, but. He kind of is new to this all this stuff, but I do set up this stealth rock So then it can just dig into my opponents <laughs> He does try to use surf to kill it, but the great heart just lives on and then I poison it. I just use toxic and poison it. And then so no much more harm comes to carving so then he can live on a little bit later. I do send out Aerial the Vaporeon since it has Water Absorb as his ability. And I knew he was going to use Surf again. So. Do do that so then he goes down and then I do use. I use Skull on the Shaman that he is going to send out. He's going to send out here. So, and since the has a small chance of burning, I do get it off with burning it, which was actually pretty cool if you ask me. <coughs> I do use Protect to see what moves Shaman does have, because to be honest, I didn't know if it had some Seed Flare or any of that stuff. It does have Energy Ball, which really doesn't threaten the Pokemon since it's a pretty bulky type Pokemon so you know it keeps on going I do use Ice Beam to finish off the Shaman at this point he's probably getting scared like oh my god am I actually gonna win or anything but you know I, yeah cuz I was kind of like texting him back and forth he does send out Keldeo which really doesn't put me up in a good position to use the Porygon in. Don't know why I really kept the Porygon out. I probably should have, should have switched out to Golden my Gengar that I have. But you know, it's kind of whatever. It's in the past. Do Poison. And then Reflect wears off, yeah. <laughs> And I used Protect because I didn't want Vaporeon to take another like big blow yet. So then the Leftovers could kick in and give me a little bit more. And then he does use Sacred Sword again. And it does do a huge jump to me which probably should have switched out by now. Don't know why I kept him in there. I guess I just want to do a little bit more damage before going to a different Pokemon. So now it does get hurt. He uses Sacred Sword again to get rid of Ariel, the Vaporeon, sadly. But then I switch into Golden the Gengar. Now I tried to use Hypnosis, but it failed, sadly, and he uses Hydro Pump against Gengar, and Gengar's really not that bulky, but he lives on barely, just to watch Skull Keldeo to get 
faint or faint from the poison. Now he does send out Metacross, which to be honest, I'm not scared of because Metacross is really slow. Doesn't really threaten me, yet. so I use Shadow Ball. One hits it, and I'm good to go. Now the next Pokemon he sends out is gonna be Ventini. Now it's kind, kind of scared me a little bit, but you know I was like, whatever. It, Ventini just barely lives on. I probably should have used Shadow Ball. I probably would have fainted. But you know, he uses V Crate to knock out my Golden. Kind of rookie mistake, really. but I do send out Weed 2.0, my B Drill, my like mega awesomeness B Drill. Mega evolves it into Mega B Drill and uses Fell Stinger, which will raise my attack, which I really wanted to do because. Why not raise an attack up? I mean, it's better than anything. So then his last Pokemon... Or not his last Pokemon, his second to last Pokemon is Dynasty. Which I will take out in one shot when the Mega Evolves. Now he Mega Evolves it, hoping that he's probably faster than him, but... To be honest, this, this match was not fair because his team was an EV trained and all that stuff, but my, mine was. But you know, I take out the Dying Sea, and then his last Pokemon to send out is Greninja. Which I do believe I take out with the U-turn. Yes, that's right. And I do that to end the battle right there. Greninja faints, and I win the battle. So you know, this was something I really wanted to try. And I guys hope you enjoyed it. This was my first time commentating on something. And I really do hope you guys would you know like comment if you guys want more of this kind of stuff. And if you guys wanna, you know, battle me, you know, just message me. Uh just yeah, just message me and ask if you want to, and then you know we can probably set something up and all that stuff. But you know, this video will probably go up. I don't know, on a Sunday sometime, maybe, maybe later tonight, whenever tonight is, but you know, as always, this is Rollout Dino, rolling out, see you next time.